worse than this. Dunya has come to our house. Dear kids, by dunya, he meant the worldly glitter and gold. So he said that Hazrat Umar had sent the dunya for us. So our hereafter gets ruined. It gets spoiled. He Ta'ala Anho has said fitna to our house. The wife said, please do not worry. I will help you find a solution. And she distributed the entire amount in the needy people of Kufa. After some time, Hazrat Umar himself visited Kufa and asked the people, How is your governor? The people complained a lot, but they put forward four specific complaints about him. They told Hazrat Umar millions of bad things. And Hazrat Umar prayed to Allah that all these things to be proven wrong because he knew them to be false in his heart. Now he called Hazrat Sayyid bin Amir and then they started solving the matter. The people said, he does not leave his house till midday. Hazrat Sayyid bin Amir said, I do not want to answer these things, but I have no choice, so will respond. The simple thing is that I have no helper to assist me at home. I have no servant. I wake up in the morning, grind the wheat myself, knead the dough, wait for it to ferment, make breads, and then leave my house to work for the people. The second complaint was that, that Hazrat Sayyid bin Amir does not listen to anyone at night. The people need him, but he is not there, he is not available. He, Razi Ta'ala Anho said, My day is for the people, and night is for Allah. During the day, I serve the people, and at night, I worship my Lord. The third complaint was that, once a month, he disappears and is nowhere to be seen. He, Razi Ta'ala Anho said, I have just one pair of clothes. Once a month, I wash them, and then I wait for them to dry. Once I'm dressed, I come out to serve my people. The last complaint was that, during meetings, it seems he Rizitala Anho is lost. He does not pay attention. He either seems to have fainted or he sleeps. He Rizitala Anho said that I am under the effect of what happened to Khabib Rizitala Anho. I almost get over the sight. But it comes back again, the sight of his martyrdom. I'm unable to get it out of my mind. I was part of that crowd of Quraysh, which tore off the body parts of Hazrat Khabib Rizi Ta'ala Anho, and I did not help him. I fear Allah might not forgive me for that act. When this thought comes to my mind, I get dizzy and I faint with the fear of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Upon hearing this, Hazrat Umar said, Thanks to Allah that my opinion, my good impression of Hazrat Sayyid bin Amir remains untarnished. Allah made sure his goodness prevailed. When Hazrat Umar went back to Medina, he again sent 1,000 dinar for Hazrat Sayyid bin Amir. His wife suggested that they should keep a helper to improve their lifestyle. Hazrat Sayyid bin Amir said, I have a better idea. Let's give a karz hasana, a good loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instead. Allah will reward us many folds. Then he gave the entire amount to charity. SubhanAllah. He distributed the amount in small bags and gave it to the orphans and widowed of his land. Let us pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the humility and humble nature of Hazrat Sayyid bin Amir. Enable us to love Allah more than this world and help us put people's needs above our Make us of those who believe in giving Allah a karze hasana and be charitable and kind. Ameen. So kids, this is our Islamic hero. May we emulate them and feel proud to be of the same religion as them. Ameen. Till next time, look after yourselves and promise to be good and say your salah on time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.